Hi all and welcome to the 2020 SACC Interclub results video. This is the first time we've done anything like this. Pretty extraordinary times and so it's called for extraordinary measures. Um, I think the SACC haven't been slow in uh, grasping the situation and I'd like to thank uh, all of the committee, especially Ger O'Halloran, Henry O'Brien and Tyke Hurley who really helped put all this together. We've had a great response. I mean, I think a third of the SACC region clubs entered the competition. And considering the conditions with the lockdown, uh, I think that's been a, an extraordinary result for us. And I hope that you enjoy uh, what we've presented and the video. Um, I'd like to thank the judges, uh, Des Clinton, Judy Boyle and Dominic Redden. They brought considerable expertise. Uh, they, great, they gave great time and um, they really took the task at hand. Uh, the scoring was uh, a maximum of nine points for each judge, uh, so a top score would have been 27 points. Uh, so you can keep an eye on that as you look through the video and see the scores on all of the terrific images that uh, we have for you. I'd like to thank Rory O'Connor and Catherine Duggan. Uh, they did an audit on the scores and made sure the software was working correctly so that everything was uh, in good shape. In addition to this video, we will be doing videos that we'll upload uh, during the week next week, uh, one for each club presenting all of the images. Uh, it'll be fascinating to uh, have a look at the other clubs and see what they're doing because there's some absolutely spectacular images. Uh, we've got a new and exciting landscape competition, um, news of which will be on the website shortly. Keep an eye out for that because that's going to be a bit of fun. Finally, a uh, word of congratulations to the winners and a bit of encouragement to those clubs that uh, haven't won on this occasion. The final results were very close, um, so perhaps uh, perhaps next year there'll be a big difference. Um, we hope to do the presentations of the cup and the shield and the trophies and the awards um, later in the year. Uh, so keep an eye on the website and on social media for that. Um, that should be uh, exciting and I guess we all hope that we can get out of this lockdown uh, with some level of safety and um, be able to participate again in the, this terrific, terrific hobby. In the meantime, stay safe, follow the government guidelines, and uh, we'll get through this as soon as we can. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so on behalf of the three judges, uh, I just want to say a few words uh, about the competition. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate the SACC uh, for having this competition. We're having very strange times now with this COVID-19 and it's great to see the competition up and running. And it was great to see such a good entry. Uh, I think there was 110 in each of the categories, the colour and the monochrome, which was great. Um, I was one of the three judges, but I didn't know there were three judges until all the, all the judging was done. So it's a cumulative score of the three judges. So you're going to get good variety within the scoring. So you're getting a very good broad spread of judging for three judges. Um, I'd like to say a great a big thank you for Mark and, and for the SAC for inviting the judges and having us uh, as part of the competition. Uh, it was a pleasure to look at the images. They were very good. I must say I was uh, very impressed and I think the other judges were impressed too of the standard. Uh, I think personally myself, I think in both categories, I probably gave about 12, uh, 12 images at uh, the top score or of nine from my, from my score. And uh, that was very, that just reflects the standard of the competition. And uh, I must say now, I, I thought the colour was good, but I thought the monochrome was probably even better for me. I, I really enjoyed them. Um, yeah. In terms of the standard in both sections, I must say now that the, crea the creative art stuff was very, very good. The standard was very, very high. And as always in the SACC, the natural history images were excellent, absolutely excellent, the highest standard. Um, the one, one little negative I would say about the whole competition was there was a lack of, we say, a street photography, documentary photography, even landscape photography. There was a, there was none, and I, I think I, I came to one sports picture in the, in, in the whole competition. So people are very, and the portraiture was good, and a lot of portrait, portraits uh, in in the competitions, both colour and, and mono. But by and large, then I think people are probably entering the, the creative stuff much more because that's, the, that's the, the, the genre that seems to be winning the competitions and people are out to win the course and a lot of people are getting into that genre of photography. But I would like to see myself personally that we go back to the sports photography as well as the uh, street photography and all that type of photography and, and we shouldn't neglect those. And sports photography can do well, very well in competitions and, and by and large. And I was very surprised with a strong 
TCC with the sports that there, there was a more sports imagery. Um, other than that, now I must say, as I said, I was delighted to judge it. The standard was very high, and uh, tw- not twelve in each category. Getting a top score for me—that's good, I can tell you. <laughs> so well done to all uh, the good, those who did well. Uh, best of luck to the, whoever gets the top club, and all those who don't get it, well, try again next year and, and learn from this competition.